Hello friends, welcome back. Once again, after a long time, I'm here and I'm going to build this inventory management system as I promised in my previous video. And now from today, I'm going to build this uh, inventory management system. So let me give, give you the brief overview of this inv inv inventory system, what this can do. And in my previous video, I already shown you. So this is for those who, uh, who, who is first time here. So here, what we can do, we can add category and we can also specify the parent category if it is not a root and we can specify brands we can have pagination or we can add brands as well as we can manage products there is a list of products and there is stock how much available in our database this is the thing active and now this is not working but in the when 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 we will start building then we will work on it and uh, we can do the next page second page first page in the previous in this way and uh, we can place orders new orders so the, here we can uh, save invoices in our database as well as we can print invoices in the form of pdf and uh, we can add multiple products if you want similar way we can remove and whenever we choose a product let's say we will get the quantity how much we have available in our database so if we choose more than that then we will get an error if we choose less so we'll get not error but if we choose more products such as oh sorry we don't have this much quantity so we have to aware of that and let's say oh my god five Another product is Lenovo laptop. Three and uh, Samsung Galaxy, say four. So notice the quantity. This is forty thousand. We will see the this will in decrement in our database. So the thing is already calculated. We don't need to do hard effort and discount if you want. You can give let's say hundred discount. And paid amount let's do the full payment cash okay cash is better option order now in this moment everything is saved in our database and now we can print our invoice the invoice is ready right we can give this invoice to the customer and I forget to put the name and I have I haven't given any validation so we will uh, take care of this and uh, we uh, so some of you having problem in registration so you can also download uh, this inventory system here most of you I think already downloaded this uh, inventory system and few those who are facing problem uh, in this inventory system like uh, most of you getting problems in registration so I find out the problem and I solve it and I re-uploaded the entire inventory system so you can download it again and I, I, I also suggest you to download, uh, okay, you can download, but uh, instead of uh, watching only videos, just follow all the steps and type all the code by yourself. That will help you to improve your knowledge as well as coding skills. So this is a better way to do coding. And what software we are going to use. So first of all, XAMPP. I'm going to use XAMPP and I don't need to tell my viewers because they know I always use Jamf in a local host environment but with Jamf we can also have an option of Perl but I'm not going to use I'm going to use Jamf right and you can download it is available for Windows Linux and Mac operating system so you can after downloading I, I already downloaded so I don't need to download it again just download it's very simple after downloading you have you will have a set of file and just do next 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 and finish done then after you know that you will have a Jamf folder in your if you're using windows you will have c drive in, in c drive you will have sam folder right inside that you will have h t docs folder right okay later i will tell you and for interface i'm going to use bootstrap and bootstrap version 4 right so if you're not familiar with bootstrap don't uh, scare don't fear because uh, it's just a framework we're going to pick the component from this website 
we will pick the component from this website and paste in our text filter just nothing and this is a beta version so uh, this is not final version they will release the final version but i don't know when they will release this is the testing version actually this uh, beta version is for audience testing so audience are testing whenever they find the bugs or errors they will report to the official i mean in this website right Okay, invoice bill and uh, just go back and the file quantity we have taken so let's home and you will see here manage and Photoshop CS 40,000 now this is 39,995 right we can if you want we can disable this uh, uh, quanti um, this product Photoshop CS by clicking on this button we can also remove this item we can edit the quantity in this way it is working all and those who are facing problem in registration they told me they are getting problem in registration now this is the let's do the registration it's working very fine okay more read email dot com and password admin register now you can see your account is created successfully now you can log in so it's working fine let's log in Okay, invalid password. Let's give it again. Login. Fine. Login is turned. File and uh, this is the date when he logged in and he's ad logging as an admin. This is a clock API. We can place new orders. We can add products. We can add brands. So the major things, whatever required in an inventory system, we have all those things in this application. So let's, uh, something, anything remain. So you can get the project from here and follow the videos. So let me close this. And uh, this is a bootstrap, let's get started. And what we can do, whenever we require things, let's say the, just be, uh, we required the components just click on components right so here we have all the components we will just pick the components and let's say we need a form we'll have forms right this is a form and all kinds of input we have here in this way we will take the component from here and paste in our text field I'm not going to write everything forms but I will write everything in logical way so and uh, so this is the bootstrap and we are going to use jQuery so you can get the jQuery latest version jQuery CDN just search jQuery CDN and you can have the jQuery official website jcode.jQuery.com and you can also get it from w3 schools so here you can have two options the one from microsoft and another one from google so the, they are using th those servers google the google cdn is from ajax.googleapi.com and microsoft cdn is ajax.asp any text cdn so we'll use google cdn right so this is the thing we will take it from here and from bootstrap for started for starting getting started so here we have the first template right this is the start template right so the, we required only this thing or we, if you want we can skip right now this is the most important line we put that makes your application responsive so this is the this line should be in our application right and let me tell you the relationship in database 
the most important thing so this is the normal brand stable right and brand status will tell us about the status of brand the brand is active or not category the same way this is the uh, category we have category id parent category and category name and tell me the status is it available or not and parent category so this is actually we uh, this is a, there is a recursive relationship right so we have few uh, root categories let's say electronics software and gadgets and uh, above these three categories we have subcategories mobile phone editing software antivirus locked and we can have more categories and we are using the same id let's say as you can see the mobile phone right so it's a uh, its own id is four but parent category is one it's because mobile phone belongs to the electronics and electronics id is one that's why here is one same way antivirus you can see its own id is six and antivirus belongs to the software category and software category id is two here that's why here is parent is two so there is a recursive relationship it's all about database if you have subject database then you can know about it and uh, we have invoice and invoice details so the, the here we can see there is no name it's because we haven't placed in the last time when we make invoice we didn't place a name that's why there is no name so we have to validate this condition sorry for that we have the total amount the all products subtotal gst tax discount net total and paid amount full payment due zero cash payment and we have each invoice detail let's say invoice number is 31 right so if we go in invoice details so invoice number 31 uh, purchase three products and ID of those products are five four six so in this way we can track everything and uh, we have products so product ID product name product brand this is a foreign key belongs to the brand table product category this is also foreign key belongs to the category table price quantity when it added as a date status right and users so the users are username id password there is nothing important like user type one represents admin and register date when he registered first time and last login tell us the the last login right notes for uh, forget password or any kind of verification we will store a uh, verification key code and it, what and if required anything we will store in notes and in invoice so to get the complete uh, this is the invoice detail right how much amount the person paid and from invoice number so this invoice number is actually foreign key in invoice details so this invoice number is foreign key and every all the products details we have this is the id of the product so from this id we can get the name of product so here we are using uh, there is uh, we use so kind um, different ki different kinds of skill queries such as inner join left join to do this operation to get the records in a one place right and if i'm boring you you can please comment i will try to do something in a diff different way So okay, next from next video we will start uh, from we will start from the structure. So this just create a new file. Alright, next video.